Hey guys, what is going on? I'm Tricky Miss, and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing Remnant 2 and I'm going to be showing you guys on how to do a duplication glitch. But before we go into any of the details, be sure to hit the subscribe button or leave a like. Now let's go ahead and talk about it. Now, I've already looked on multiple different platforms such as YouTube, TikTok, Reddit, and so far I've not seen anyone make any kind of mention about this glitch in general meaning that there's only a handful of players that probably know about it and have kept it secret. But today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly on how to do so. Now, the few requirements that you do need to know is that this is not a solo player glitch, meaning that you need at least another person to do so. And you guys will not need to do this so many times. Trust me, you guys will see why. Uh, you do need to make sure that you have a place that has a vendor, a vendor that will actually allow you to sell items. I prefer using War 13 just because it's easiest. And whenever you're on War 13, you don't even have to worry about spawning in your teammates or your friends or random players just because they automatically spawn in when you're in this area. And for this example, we are going to be using the Scrap Lady. I call her the Scrap Lady, but I don't really know her. Oh, Cass. Cass is her name. But anyways, we're going to be using her in the video. Now, I'm going to do a little voiceover on the actual two little side-by-side -side recordings that we have. I had a friend help me out. His name is Metal Mike. He streams on Twitch here and there, but he is a good person. But now let's go right on into the voiceover. All right, you guys. So two players, like I said, the person that's going to be duplicating is going to be represented by me, top left. They're going to join in right away. They'll go straight up to the vendor of their choice. For this example, we're using Cass, and we're just going to be duplicating all of our material items, like blood moons, irons, stuff like that. Mike went ahead and looked at the vendor, and basically it's all the items that we just put in there. We automatically force close the game by either Alt F4, Task Manager, if you're on Xbox or PlayStation. You guys would do the same feat by just going right onto your homepage and closing the application. Now you can do this as many times as you want, as many times as needed, but you don't really have to do it too many times, especially when you get right on up there. This third time we did it slightly different. We actually went back up to the vendor and bought some of the items back. And we'll explain more as to why we did that uh, right after this recording or this little commentary. But this is just basically safeguarding and we're just gonna go straight on back into it, doing it one last time. And then finally, that is pretty much the whole glitch in a nutshell. If you guys do want to make videos on the glitch itself, be sure to accredit it me in some sort of way. Even if it's a little mention in the video description, that would be much helpful. But anyways, I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, see you guys then. Alright, so you guys just learned on how to do the duplication glitch. Now let's go ahead and talk about it in further detail so no one's confused about on how to do so. So like I said, the host can do whatever they want in their lobby at War 13 for this example. The person joining them will automatically join, they'll spawn in, they'll go up to the vendor of their choosing, they'll sell the items, and then they will force close the game out. By force closing, it'll actually keep the items in the shop while still keeping the items on your character. Um, the force closing method, you have to do Alt F4 or even Task Manager. Uh, if you're on console, you'll go to the home page and hit close application so it force closes it. And then you'll automatically relaunch it. Now, I know some of you guys may be wondering, Tricky, why can't we just uh, hit escape or pause and then use these options? For some reason, if you do these, it'll actually break the glitch and you'll actually lose the items that you just sold. So it's best to do the other option first before you actually... Uh, when you're doing the glitch, otherwise you guys are going to be trying to rebuy your items for double the price. Uh, so, let's go ahead and talk about the various items that you guys can actually sell. Now some of these items are absolutely game breaking, uh, but we'll talk about the more game breaking ones in a moment. So like I said, we're using iron, we're using blood moons, we're using crystals for the example. But you guys can do consumables such as the ammo boxes, the various different potions, and even the little pallets that you guys see down in my number four slot. Those ones are free. They are from the bird nest, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but they are super useful. Anyways, let's talk about the most game breaking things that you guys can actually duplicate. So if you guys know from boss drops and like from this random uh, occurrences and stuff like that, you get these items that you have to use for crafting. 
Now by crafting, I'm talking about like making mods, making weapons such as like primary weapons, melee, sidearms, you guys kind of get the picture. All those items are sellable. You guys can actually sell it at the shop, meaning that you guys can duplicate those items. But let's take it a step further. You guys can even duplicate the archetype class items, meaning the stuff that you need in order to unlock the class. That's just how game breaking this thing is. And it is so overpowered. The chances of finding someone that has all the different crafting materials, like for every single weapon in the game and every single like class in the game is like like zero to none just because i doubt anyone has any of those items especially all on their character they probably probably already crafted everything but you could basically get everything like the different classes all the weapons just for a scrap amount and that's just super like mind blown type type of ordeal but Overall, that's pretty much it. There isn't really too much to talk about. If you guys do want to make videos, like I said, on this uh, glitch itself, be sure to somehow credit me in some way, just because I am the first one to actually upload the video. I know there's going to be some people that will like spam the video out and just kind of like counterclaim me on that, but it's whatever. Anyways, uh, I think that'll just have to do it. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you guys have not. Leave a like and comment down below your thoughts on this glitch in general. Anyways, I'll see you guys all in the next one and have a great rest of your day. See ya.